thank the member. Are there any further statements? I'll give the call to the member for Fraser. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. The Coalition's first budget was a pretty cruel one, but there was one particular measure that continues to astound me for its cold-heartedness. The government's decision to stop funding the Youth Connections and Partnership Brokers program means that some of the most vulnerable people in our community will have the threads connecting them to school, work and a stable life completely cut away. In speaking with the providers of these services my electorate of Fraser, I heard about a young woman named Sammy whose story highlights how important such a program is. Sammy came into contact with Youth Connections after a history of substance abuse and family breakdown, which had seen her drop out of school in year 11. The Youth Connections staff helped her find safe and stable housing, much needed medical services and re-establish a relationship with her family. With these wraparound services supporting her, Sammy was able to go back to school to complete her secondary studies at the Canberra Institute of Technology and has gone on to further vocational study there. Sammy is one of the 93 per cent of Youth Connections participants nationally who remain in work or study six months after completing the program. I could also tell many stories about young people who stayed in school because of the Partnership Brokers program was able to link them to tailored vocational learning opportunities. These programs cost very little, yes, they're enormously effective in helping young people build the foundations for stable, successful lives. While the government's cutting back on, the, on these evidence-based programs, it's expanding work for the doll, a program which an evaluation commissioned by then Employment Minister Tony Abbott uh, and written by Jeff Borland and Yiping Singh found was increasing joblessness, not decreasing it. I urge the Abbott government to recognise the huge social value of the Youth Connections and Partnership Brokers program and commit the funding necessary to keep them running after the 31st of December. And Deputy Speaker, it was my pleasure on Friday to attend an Anglicare Youth Unemployment Forum discussing these very, very issues. Uh, to hear from uh, experts such as Su Susan Hellyer, the director of ACTCOS, uh, from Anglicare staff such as uh, Jenny Kitchen and Je uh, Jeremy Halcrow, uh, and clients such as Arko Ch Chakrabarti, uh, whose special song was uh, a highlight for many. Uh, Anglicare workers such as Shai Watson, San uh, Sandra Mickey, Hannah McQuigan were uh, uh, there to engage with the community, uh, as was Claire Lloyd-Jones, the author of an important Limiting Futures report uh, on the challenge of uh, combating youth unemployment in the ACT. All of these people gathered, gathered together behind a shared goal to increase participation uh, in, the, uh, in the ACT based on evidence-based policies in order to improve the lives of young, of young Australians. And yet this, uh, all, all these people want is a government which is prepared to extend the same compassion to the community that so many great Anglicare workers uh, ex uh, exhibit every day in their daily work. Order. Thank the member.